Hello, it's Tristan here from Zebra Vest, and today I'm back with the asbestos testing report from our house. Um, when I did a video last, I went ran through how asbestos testing kits um, UK is a great DIY kit that you could use to be able to check your ceilings, check anything that you think that might have asbestos in it, and send it off and get a report. I did a full detailed video of it showing you exactly how you can use it, where you can buy it, and how you can use it. But we've had the test reports back um, to be able to show where we have asbestos and where we don't. So in the first room that I showed you previously, um, on the ceiling here, and I'll just turn you around, we have a Artex stippled ceiling, but you can't see too well on the video here, but it's actually, it's spiky, but it's a little bit smooth around the edges. And then when this test report came back, it just so happened that the living room ceiling does not have any asbestos in it from the samples that we took and sent off. Which is excellent. It means that we, we were originally going to use a drywall, um, drywall sander to be sanding the ceiling, get the whole thing smooth. But it also means that what we're actually going to do now, if you saw we've got some plaster down there, it means that we can get a plasterer in. They can come in, chip off the top of the Artex that we've got, plaster skim it smooth, all knowing that they're going to be safe in doing so. So that then brings us on to the next room. And then in this room, we've got a, what I call the swirly effect on the ceiling. Again, it's a whole load of Artex. Um, and I was chatting to uh, someone the other day, and they mentioned that Artex tent originally kind of came out of fashion, stopped being used around about the 1990s when asbestos um, got banned. And the reason was it was what really helped create the strength and it helped create the effect that kind of came out of the ceiling. So you can see up here, we've got this little crack here. This is where we actually took a sample and then we had a bit of a water leak. So we took the sample from the, uh, the um, top layer. I didn't realize there's another layer underneath, um, but our report results were kitchen ceiling. There's no asbestos in there, which is great because we found out from our structural engineer that we actually need to pull this whole ceiling down, reinforce it, and also when we decide to vault next door, then that means that we've already got everything ready and in place. It also means we can run all our electrics and all of our cuts through for. And where the boiler's gone in, at least it means there was no contaminant when we ran all the pipes through into the ceiling. So the last test we did was on this bit of ceiling. You can see here, I took a whole load of it off and it all went flat. We had all the doors open, followed all the instruction to an absolute T. And if you can see on here, it's got a slightly more of a, whilst it's quite bumpy, it's got a bit more of a sharper edge to it than probably the room next door. And I was convinced that this would not have asbestos in it. Um, it didn't look like the kind of thing it would, and I thought it was gonna be the same as next door. But of all of the, of the texts that we had come back, this one was the one that has chrysolite asbestos detected within that ceiling. It's like, low level asbestos, but still um, we're going to have to get an expert or someone to come in to come help pull that ceiling down, take it away, bag it up and get it removed um, in the correct manner. But if you do fancy using the asbestos testing kit, um, there is literally a website called Asbestos Testing Kit UK. Um, I've put a link in the video, in, sorry, in the description below. So if you do want to reach out to them and book them in uh, or get your sample kit sent through to you, I can I definitely recommend it and it's certainly been useful to us. Hopefully you've liked this video. Um, if you've got any comments, just drop them in the below and hopefully you subscribe to my channel. Cheers!